want to change things up. They want to be the ones who are dictating the tempo. And with the lineup that they have, they might very well do so, especially taking away some of these engaged supports from Gekian. I wonder if uh, FTX is going to be picking up the uh, the Galio here. Never okay. mind. It yeah. gets banned away instead by Weibo Gaming. Because normally we do see it being preferred by our supports. But the Alistar is still available. Will be locked in here for Chow. And Weibo Gaming this time has to decide which support they are going to be giving Jikan to, to tank everything. And I think this set is a nice touch. There is so much engage coming in from FPX and that gives an opportunity for the set to shine. Yeah, and I think it's also like the la couple of last champions that they could pick for uh, engage support uh, for for both of these teams. Alistair is like way down there as well as set. I think the only other champion that they could have maybe used was a Leona, which you also don't often see. Uh, so set right now being here in the hands of um, Gekiat, another engaged support uh, that he will be utilizing the bot lane. It's gonna be the Vladimir here picked up by Sky FL. It's been a while that they haven't seen it today. It feels like it has gone through so many pick and ban phases, but now mm -hmm. with FPX finishing this lineup off with the Vladimir gives me a bit more confidence in their mid to late game potential, especially with the composition they have. It's really, it's gonna be really, really good as a as like a unit that just balls up and then throws itself at the other team. So we'll see how Weibo Gaming will be try will try to repel that as the game goes. It is going to be very effective against uh, the double ADC. It's a massive threat in the late game. However, there's still many, many other threats on the side of Weibo Gaming, particularly the Aatrox and the Hecarim. It's going to be a scary proposition here for FPX, though they do have a lot of avenues in the early game to set the momentum going on their side. Let's see how Shing, how this uh, this Lee Sin of Shingdao 7 is going to be able to help out Don to establish immediate control in the laning phase. Because yes, the Aatrox is scary, but only to the late game. And where you can beat him the most is early game. Yeah, he's also not one of those champions who has the best uh, counters when it comes to a dive. We have seen Aatroxes defend themselves against a dive using the World Ender, also hitting the sweet spots. Uh, on the on the first ability, but if you're not able to do those skillful ways of, of just deterring the enemy team, it's gonna be very hard uh, for for this Aatrox. Immediately, the fight right there, ignite being used on Zihan. So this this Aatrox is gonna be a bit more more beaten up as we start off the game. Yeah, much more reserved, much much more backed off. Don with eight will be able to set up a freeze here. At least Whoa. to pressure down in the laning phase, but much pressure is being felt here by A13. Yeah, uh, A13 in a very low spot. Uh, it's probably just going to be he, he ate, probably ate a lot of mystic shots. Maybe even going near uh, a bush and just getting glacial augmented right there. Yeah, FBX has to be a lot more careful, especially A13. That is a scary proposition to be in, or a scary position to be in against an Ezreal and a set. We talked about this this Ezreal a while ago and how high the first blood ratio is normally on this champion. Duan Yu is known for being very, very aggressive as well. Not just in this season, but way back in season one as well as he was named Chi before when he uh, usually spammed out the Varus. And FPX has to just be extra safe. Yeah, Don, Don want to take doing singe things at the moment. Um, just yeah. <laughs> just farming behind the turret uh, of the Aatrox, a bit of a you know ballsy move I would say, but also they kind of know actually Shao going in, isolated for a little bit, but does have the Arcan shift to be safe. This time A13 is in a bad spot, will get punched in, and the Ezra is gonna be securing the first blood. Shao is gonna be next. A span is in the vicinity, still has the burn with the red buff, and that's two kills. That's a mistake right there, coming from A13 on the Lucian, dashing in, not respecting the uh, the reach that this set uh, had. He he just dashed in too early and got grabbed by the set, immediately giving the kill for the side of Weibo game as we see that yeah, just he just he just got too close. Um, it was just a bit, uh, just a mistake right there for the marksman player of FPX. Yeah, big mistake, especially that he was already in a bullied position from minute one you have no reason to actually extend but that's it i mean that's the curse that they have right now here on on red side yeah weibo gaming 
given a thousand gold lead at two and a half minutes into the game they, and they are now investing a little bit more on top side zihan helping being helped by Jiken is massive right now to negate the pressure being made there by Don one to eight yeah Don, uh yeah just G Jiken doing a lot of good things right now from the side of Weibo gaming we we kept uh criticizing him earlier on getting caught out in like the 10 12 minute mark on both game one and game two when he was playing Orin. but now looking at his set He's just been really aggressive and has been really taking full advantage what, of the kit that Set has in the support position, able to pull things, uh, enemies as well as the Glacial Aug, but the Dawn 1 to 8, fancying a, a 1v2 against Pan and Jihan. I wasn't expecting that uh, from this guy, but right now, I think San 2 0 in, in the favor here of Weibo Gaming. They definitely have the early game lead as we get uh, towards these objectives, which is not what FPX wants because they have a composition that should be better in the early game. Yeah, and we're still seeing Weibo Gaming be the one taking control of this early game as well. Just because of that devastating result, this devastating scenario of FPX in the bottom lane. The whole plan is now negated. Jiken being able to help out in the top lane a while ago and still be in time to, to aid Duan Yu. As we saw Chao use the Hex Flash to engage, he definitely felt the pressure of Jiken's presence. And that's massive, ma massive control already by Weibo Gaming in general to, to prevent anything, anything from happening, any productivity of FPX in the entire five minute mark in which they should be investing so much to try and secure ganks. Yeah. One thing I just noticed, uh, I don't think we see that that often. Uh, our first strike on the Lee Sin right now. Yeah. And I was like, why does he have an orb flying in front of his character? <laughs> He has first strike, and that could that would be something, right? Um, having first strike lets you deal more damage, lets you get more gold. So if Shingdao Seven is able to assassinate, uh, in these fights, oh! we're actually getting caught out here. Yeah, it's a chicken. That, that's the first one to strike, but it's overextended for a little bit this time around. The punch is still gonna be coming through. The onslaught of shadows is perfect. A13 though, still gonna be staying alive this time. It is the Vladimir. Going with the Hebo Plague, has the Tides of Blood as well, but it's taken too much damage. Fortunately, it does have the heal, a space still able to stay alive. This time, Weibo Gaming wants to establish control here on the Ice Dragon. Sky, still in the vicinity, but doesn't have any ult anymore. Oh, the one no. new recognizes that. Does go in with the Arcan Ship Flash as well. One more auto attack and does secure the kill. Yeah, Flash, Mystic Shot right there, showing the full sk skill set of the Ezreal, but Herald being started here by FPX, they started this too late. What, what Weibo game is gonna hear for the contest? Yeah, they want to interfere. That's the face breaker. Shingdo 7 has to escape through the barrage. will be connecting onto him as well. He has to fall back. But this time FPX still applying the pressure. Jig is doing so much work. The punch hit the Lee Sin! And it's devastating now for FPX. Double objective. This is disaster. Already at almost 4k gold lead and Weibo Gaming even extending the snowball getting another uh, tower in the middle but Fei in a bit of a bad position here. I mean it's okay if he dies it's it's fine he was able to clear out the waves it's already so much leverage for Weibo Gaming. Ooh, okay ooh, ooh, I ooh, ooh, thought ooh. there would be a second charge this is too much already in, in, in oh, case no. that does happen but Shingo 7! Oh Chow! Oh, Fan was able to bring the Lee Sin to him as well as the headbutt connected. That is so unfortunate. That cannot go worse than that. Sky is still able to go in with the Tides of Blood. Uh, right. On a Blood Pool, rather, but still is able to stay alive. Yeah. Man. There's there's just a lot of aggression right now coming out from both of these teams. Weibo Gaming just putting pedal to the metal here. No mana for Geekian. Uh, sorry, no mana for Duan Yu. Getting caught out here. Still has the punch. Haymaker deals some damage here to A13. They transition towards Ezreal instead. Not the set. Okay, these, they were able to pin him down finally. Also, okay. the double tap is working. They get two kills for Delusion. That is amazing for A13. But Pace is going to be here to answer back. Able to get one trade in. And Bigman still is the one in control. Yeah. Messy, messy set of uh, of fights right now here Ooh. for both of these teams. Ooh, Shingdo 7. Probably seen by the, by the Zap right there. The laser coming from the Zeri, but yeah, I I mean Duan you just overstayed, didn't have mana as an Ezreal. Another fight here. Zihan getting caught. Has the uh, honey fruit to stay alive for a little what? while. Able to sustain 
for so long. <laughs> oh, that was so close. Oh, Gekian's Gekian's here. though, spots some blood, flashes in, and goes in with a RKO towards Don one to eight and punches him as well. You're not gonna be scared with a crocodile when you're the one that just loves boxing anyone. Yeah, it's it's the support right now. Having a kill against a solo laner is something you don't see often, but if you're that low against a set, it's just gonna be able to chase you down and get the kills. And looking at the scoreboards right now, looking at the items as well, overwhelming advantage for the side of Weibo Gaming, almost 3k advantage for the Hecarim here. So Hecarim, this, this guy is gonna deal so much damage as well as be very, very tanky and annoying against the members of FPX. You can see as well the 6k gold lead overall. Oh, anyway, but gaming just the eight minute mark. This is this is such a huge lead for this team. Dude, the G can now is the true carry. Look at this guy to be wanting as a support, not scared against anyone, and still survives the Leeson and the Vladimir. <laughs> he, he knows he has the the haymaker. He knows he knows he knows he can just come in there, have that big shield, and Steam's gonna be there because they don't have the damage yet. To be able to deal with him as well as how accelerated his build is at this point in time. Uh, but so far though, Weibo Gaming not really able to accelerate the pace of the game as much, I think. But what? Okay. Ooh, Flash. It, it took a while for the fight to conclude. The one yeah. did die. That's fortunate for both of them as well. 9-5 to five score line structures though. Weibo Gaming is the one having the lead here. And it is being translated into gold, which is massive to be honest. Almost yeah. 7,000 at 9 minutes into the game. This is the exact position Weibo Gaming was a while ago uh, in the previous game. This time, they're having much, uh, much more of a better grip towards the lead. Yeah, uh, and the difference is for FPX, they had a clear late game advantage when it comes to the marksman that they had compared to the marksman that Weibo Gaming had in in game three. But now they don't have that. There's a, there's there's still two marksmen inside of Weibo Gaming. They have a Zeri who's gonna scale really really well in this late game. This Ezreal is most probably uh, already completed the Moramana and has probably completed the Triforce as well. I see that he already has a bit of that movement speed boost. Never just get those uh, attack speed. Uh, sorry, auto attacks as well as Mystic Shot, so it probably at least has both the Sheen and the Fate it's But Jihad getting caught out. Getting timed in. Onto the Shadows a little off there, a little too late, but Shingo 7 still gonna get pinned down. I think that's a better trade, honestly, here for Weibo Gaming. Yeah, you lose your Baron later, but this Dragon is gonna be absolutely free for their side. And they're the ones now on Soul Point. Oof. It's gonna be Soul Point for Weibo Gaming. All of the early game, all of the mid game. Advantages have been on their side, but FX still looking for kills. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out! The RKO on to 813 and the outplay as well, they still get the kill! Don went to 8 able to get the trade though, so at least that's a one for one. And Chao able to just headbutt him away, the tower still survives. Weibo Gaming is not stepping <laughs> on the brakes at all. Jikyan is the true carry right now. This true. guy yeah. is just instilling fear onto everyone. Yeah, he's just putting uh putting so much pressure right now on the side of fpx we do see the pick that we saw earlier against jihan the first strike really showing how much damage jing del 7 has but thing uh, actually getting even 155 gold out of that kill because of the amount of damage he was able to throw down but not having to conquer not giving him a bit more of that uh more of that versatility a bit more of that survivability on the champion just showed that he immediately uh died when the when the hecarim uh was able to get on top of him but now it's still the same. It, it's kind of still the same position here for FPX. They still need to figure things out how to be able to stem the bleeding, how to be able to stop Weibo Gaming because late game is going to be in favor in terms of damage of Weibo Gaming unless unless the Vladimir is able to catch both the Zeri and the Ezra. So able to do that if Sky FL is able to get a miracle pool and get both of these carries later on, it ju could just be a repeat of game three. It could just be something like that. Again, oh, again. God! The showstopper, man, this guy, the legend killer is back. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, he's just going all in. He doesn't care. He's set. He's too, he's too ahead. And it's like, you can't see me. I'm just, I'm just here. I'm yeah. just doing, doing everything. He's ready to face the Undertaker again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah, uh, right now, Baron <laughs> is being the one that's, that's being, uh, oh, well, being challenged right here. Uh, by FPX as Weibo Gaming tries to put their their mark here 
on the Baron. Topside is in a bit of a, of a dangerous spot for Rainbow Gaming, but they do have a lot of members there. I do like what FPX is doing. Yes, we have seen Dekka just, you know, going in, uh, doing the RKO against uh, FPX, but it's it's not it's not the lead it's not the it's not the snowball that Weibo Gaming hopes to have um, to be able to end this game to be able to to not go back into the position of game three but they can still bank on the fact that they have a stronger late game Sky Appel though is it's gonna get caught still has the blood pool and the proto belt to just be able to escape Chow though doesn't have does have the flash on the shadow will slow him down put him on the other side the kit though is gonna be amazing. Follow up though is not really top notch. Side of blood gonna be used here by Skyfell. Still unable to get the damage done. She can survive with one HP. That was too close for a comfort. Don Mutate is in the vicinity though. Do one use the one to check? Actually, he's just gonna be saying, nope. No. Yep, no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> not gonna risk it. Yeah. Not gonna risk it. Don Mutate doesn't wanna do anything. Uh, anything here, yeah, get, 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 G can just survive. Actually, Wan Yu takes down Sky FL. This is gonna be oh. the freest Baron that Weibo Gaming gets for this game. Absolutely free. Gift wrap. It is a too, too little too late already for Christmas, but they will accept it right now. And it's gonna be the Baron here for Weibo Gaming. They are able to accelerate the pace of the game, something that we have been looking for for them. They don't really have the, the strongest of compositions early into the mid game. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter when you're able to do this uh, against FPX, forcing some of these mistakes, forcing the issue right now on FPX. And FPX right now is wondering is it really just the red side curse or is it more of a blue side blessing at this point? Because so far, blue side has had so many opportunities in getting these wins. And Weibo Gaming is in a prime spot to even out this series. They're in top notch form, the form, condition. And nobody can basically contest them at this point. But Chicken is tanking three <laughs> members and able to even return the damage to Don128. Has the water mode, so he's gonna be fine. A is having the best time. He's on a vacation on the other side, <laughs> just taking towers down. Yeah. No pressure whatsoever. They know that everyone's onto the top side, mid side this time around. Jigen's still gonna be setting up. Shoot stopper once more. Sky's gonna be the one to be targeted here. The punch gonna come through. Chance gonna be bad spot right now. Zian gonna be joining the party. And everyone's gonna be having fun on the side of Wave Gaming. A13 still able to survive. FDX, they have to defend. This inhibitor tower is just gonna be taken down here. Bottom lane is gonna be next. Wave Gaming definitely is giving a one sided beatdown right now. 10. 11,000 11, gold lead against FPX. Shingo Sen might be in a bad spot again. Don, you and Jiken, the duo oh. is just back here right now. A13 survives, but this tower will not. Yeah, the tower is probably gonna fall. Even the dra dragon has been secured by Fan. It's a dragon soul right now on in favor here of Weibo Gaming. We're nearing the 16 minute mark. Elder Drake is about to spawn as well in a couple, and Weibo Gaming. With the 13k gold lead, seems like they just secured themselves to tie up this series. Man, Weibo Gaming. I mean, this game is. This game should be done. This game should be done. Everything right now, every win condition is being taken right now by Weibo Gaming. Yeah, FEX. They have invested so much champions on early game. Weibo Gaming has done a, an incredible job, especially because of Jikian's performance. Able to help out, set up in the bottom lane, help out in the top lane, and all of the fights he was just there to impact the fights. Right now, his face checking, just staying in front of Oof. enemy lines. This time, though, the yeah, Akurimen actually beat him with a wild spot, still able to stay just after the onslaught of shadows. And now, Jikian wants a fight, he wants a piece of the meat, and now it's gonna be punching the cow straight into the stomach. As to take him down, FPX is time for intact still. It's just gonna be disengaging. They can still stall for the fight. Maybe just focus on the wave clear, but Weibo Gaming definitely cannot be contested in any Ooh. fight right now. Yeah, G G Kian just really wanting some some stake at that point. Soloing the cow, putting him uh next to all of his team members. Now it's a 4v5 position here. G Kian is still very much far forward, even if he's still in that. Oh no, it actually he went back now, not a little longer in that bush. I thought it's gonna be still in front in the faces of FPX, but at this point in time, Weibo Gaming is trying to lure them into this pit. Baron has been started here by Weibo Gaming. FPX very well 
the might have an idea as if Jikian is oh. there, but I don't think they can reach this Baron. I don't think so as well, but let's see if they're gonna be able to do it. The only one to it is actually doing a really good job. Zion is gonna be low in HP, no steel being coming, and Jikan gonna be flashing out, still able to survive for so long. Finally, gonna be sucked out of blood, but Zion's still gonna be here. The damage is gonna be pure coming in from this Aethox. Everyone has to flee. Chow gonna be the one to sacrifice himself. A13 is still surviving with a flash in here by Zihan to try and catch him all up. Jintao as well, just gonna be disengaging. Skedaddles is said, is the only one to survive. Weibo Gaming can just push this mid. They have the waves already. They have the Baron Empowered minions. FPX. This was a devastating loss. But they still have a chance here in this series. The score is now tied. Yeah. It's gonna be a tied series right here. 2-2. Two to two Between FPX and Weibo Gaming. Weibo Gaming able to win that game for with a dominating early game.